Hey there, Michael Sean McDonald here, and uh, I have a question for you. Do you sometimes feel you're running out of content? What to produce for your YouTube video, for your Facebook posts, or even your own blog that you've started? Well, if that's you, because at one time it was me, all you have to do is look around. There's content everywhere. A few places you might want to look would be Facebook groups. Go in there, see what type of questions people are asking. Find the answer, produce a blog post, produce a video about it, provide the solutions to their problems. Wherever people are asking questions, that is what you're going to want to go research and answer. Another thing to do is when you attend an event, a webinar, or even a podcast, Take notes. These notes are like uncashed checks. You will review them. As you go through, you're going to take notes. Make about three or four points. Then you're going to produce a video, a blog post, and you got your stuff for Facebook. So there's two things right there. Facebook groups and things you attend. Secondly, thirdly actually, because we've done two, <laughs> thirdly, you're going to go and ask your fans. Ask them what they're looking for. Ask them what they're struggling with. You find the answers to their struggles and they will follow you more. So make sure you are providing answers to their questions. When creating your content, here's one tip. You want to clarify your purpose of your content. You want to define your service. And then you want to craft your story. Now a story for example, because this is all about solutions for their problem, people aren't necessarily looking for the best product because we all have the best products out there, right? You need to, you have to, not need, you have to find their emotions that trigger their buying, their buying power, okay? So what you're gonna do is when you're crafting your story, like for example, say it's weight loss, okay? What are people looking for right now? They want something fast, they want something easy, they want something that doesn't take a lot of time or money, right? So you coming out and saying, oh, we have the best product in the world, nothing else compares to it, we're the only one, ground floor, get this now, 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 the people are gonna be turned off. But what if I told you this? What if I said this to you? Welcome to a new year. Welcome to a new year. How are you going to become a new you? Well, imagine this. After three months of doing your weight loss program, you go grab your favorite dress. Your husband or, or your, your partner has no idea that you've been doing this weight loss program. You've been doing it secretly because you want to see what they're, if they notice. You've been tell, you've been seeing little hints and stuff as the three months went on. Around 30 days, you start, he's, they started noticing you. 60 days, they started making comments about how you're looking great, your feel, your your skin looks wonderful. Now it's the time for the big reveal. It's been 90 days of nothing but hard work. You have picked your favorite outfit that you want to wear, the one that was your goal. You go to the bathroom because you want it to be all in secret. You can hear you're going out for dinner and no one knows why. And then you slip on your outfit. The outfit you have not worn in three years. It goes on perfect. As you're staring at yourself in the mirror, your heart is filled with emotion. As 
three years of up and down and up and down, yo-yo diet after yo-yo diet. You knew you could do it, but people in the back of your head still doubted you. You knew with the right plan, you knew with the right product that this could be done because this time it was different. You had a different mindset. You had a team. You had a coach. You had a product. As you stand there in front of the mirror with your emotions raging with happiness and anticipation on what was about to be said as you walked out that door to go upstairs to your to your spouse. You take that one deep breath. You walk upstairs. You see your spouse just looking outside, staring out the window, waiting for you as they've done before in the past. You say, here I am. They turn around and they look at you. They look at you in awe. You can see the tears in their eyes fall down their face as they look at you and say this. Now the world will see what I saw inside of you, they'll see on the outside. You're beautiful. You always have been and always will be. Then you go out for dinner and everyone stares at you. They start asking questions. What'd you do? How'd you do it? So for example, that is stirring up emotion. Do you think someone would want to buy your product after that, knowing that that is them having that experience? No one cares about the, the features. They want the benefits. Learn to tell a story and you'll sell more products. Why do, you th why do people wait in anticipation for the Budweiser Super Bowl commercials? Because they're telling us the story about a horse and a dog.